All right, guys. So today we have a very special guest. Eric Howard from AMZ Engine is here with us today. So I recently been seeing him do some like really cool stuff with Pixelfy, ManyChat, and you know all things around launching. And after talking to him, I realized that Eric knows this stuff and he's doing like over $3 million in sales a year. So I wanted to bring Eric on board to kind of just share some of the stuff that he's been working on, some of the things that he's seen within his own launches, and hopefully, hopefully that helps some of you guys launch your products. So Eric, do you want to give yourself a quick intro? What's up, guys? How are you? Eric Howard. Um, excited to be here. Big fan of Anthony's and Seller Tradecraft. And, you know, obviously... Pixelfy is a big, big, uh, big tool that we're using for our launches. Um, I've been selling on Amazon since 2016. We all know a lot's changed since then. Um, and using some of these tools and some of these strategies, and we're going to get into that in this video, we've been able to build, you know, three brands, two of them doing seven figures um, in the fitness space and office space and do some beauty as well. And so, you know, you need to... Um, take advantage of these tools and you need to take advantage of the data that Amazon's giving us to find profitable products, launch them properly and beat our competitors. And so I'm really excited to be here and uh, show us what we're doing. All right. Cool. Howard. Or cool, Eric. Uh, but basically, can we go ahead and jump into, I know you have like some slides and some, you know, things that you want to walk through. Um, I think it'd be best if you kind of highlight maybe some of the results and then um, just hop into it. All right. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So yeah, let's dive right into some of the results we're seeing using um, these launch tactics. So this is the home and kitchen category, monster keywords, 66,000 exact search. And in 20 days, we're going from 49 to the number one spot. Okay. Um, oh this is a, yeah. So this is, um, and these are the, these are the results from, uh, from, from Helium 10. So recorded that. This is Sports and Outdoors going from 127 to 4, 18,000 searches in eight days. Okay, it's a brand new product. Um, and then this is in Health and Household, so going from 210 to number one. And so how, how are we doing this? Well, you know, it's a combination of uh, full price buys, uh, search find buys. We're, we're seeing that Amazon's preferring full price buys over discounted buys. We're also seeing that combining multiple tactics. So not just doing rebates and not just doing full price buys, full price giveaways, but combining these things with add to carts um, and, uh, and strong PPC, right? So real dialed in PPC um, can really help our launches. And so here's kind of the big picture of, of how this all plays together. So we're driving external traffic through uh, into, into our chatbot. And then we're sending them through flows. And in those flows, we're directing how we want the user to take an action. Okay? And so this is all going um, to make sense once we get it, dive into the Pixelfy platform. But basically, you're, you're, first of all, you're, you're attract traffic that's getting – so you're, you're getting brand equity. You're getting brand awareness out there for the stuff that you're selling on Amazon. And second, you're commanding which keywords you're going to target in your launch – that's going to help you um, dominate and move up the ranks a lot faster, right? So you can see we're going from Facebook to chatbots, and then we're integrating Pixelfy URLs. And then at times we're using SOM pages to distribute single-use coupons for discounts. And then we're sending traffic to Amazon using the, using the deep link tool. And we're also tracking all of our you know, customers and requiring their emails and requiring um, user IDs and all the stuff that we can use to build an audience and then retarget them later and launch product number two, three, four, or five. Um, we're tracking all that in Google Sheets. Okay, so that's kind of the um, the high level, and I want to show you a little bit about um, uh, you know show you some of the success. So here's a brand that we've grown. We started doing these strategies in April, and they had 51 chatbot subscribers. Got it. So we not too long ago, right? Yeah, not too long ago. And so with, by launching two really cool products in the fitness space um, and investing some Facebook ads and just some really good customer service, right? So let, let, let's just kind of back it up. Before you're starting to do your launch, you got to have the basics down. You got to have the foundations down. You got to have a good product that's bringing value to your customer, right? We don't want to just do a Me Too product. We want to improve upon it slightly. Um, mm -hmm. And so that, that means reading the reviews. That means working with the manufacturer, the kind of stepping your game up a little bit. You want to have, you know, a kick butt listing, optimized listing um, using keywords. And we're going to dive into keywords in a second. 
you want to have some really nice photos and you want to have some really nice infographics and you want to stuff your title, you want to stuff your subject matter, your search terms, all this stuff with your really good keywords. Okay. So this is, this is what it looks like when you have a good brand that's investing in growing an audience. And now we've got 3,600 people that know this brand have had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with us and are ready for what's the next product, right? What, what are you launching next? Okay. And so, got it. Um, and then real quick, you know, with these stats, yeah. was this all through just one product that you were launching or was this like multiple products that uh, got you to this point where you had, you know, 3,600 uh, subscribers? Yeah. Yeah. So this is two products. Okay. So we were launching two products at once. Um, one at the like $18 price point, another one at the $30 price point. And so okay. we're obviously pixeling those audiences. Um, on Facebook and so and we're tagging them to using use tags in many chat it's incredible the, the segmentation that you can get and that's starting to and then you kind of start to control what your audience of many chat um, represents if you want to just send a broadcast out to these specific people if you want to send a broadcast out to these people you can do that okay um, and so that's that so this was two products and that's how we got there the, the, the awesome thing about chatbots and is that you can embed the Pixify URL directly in there. It's just a button. Customer doesn't see it, doesn't know that it's a specific URL. They're just clicking on the button and Pixify does the rest of the work for you. Okay. So, um, so let me just kind of jump in a little bit too. Um, cause product research is such a big part of what we do mm -hmm. brand. for all of our, you know, clients and students that come into our, our courses and our training, you know, getting product research down, and using, uh, we use Helium 10 for everything, but just the data out there, whether it's viral launch, or whatever, is phenomenal. Okay, you just kind of have to know how to look for the specific parameters um, and, then, uh, and then target the keywords. So I was gonna, I'm gonna jump into that, unless you wanna interject. And, uh, yeah, I can tell by kind of looking at this decision tree that you made already, it's gonna be a lot more simple to just kind of figure out yes or no, should I keep sure. going or not keep going? Okay, but yeah, go ahead and hop into it. So there's a couple, there's, there's multiple ways to find profitable products. Mm -hmm. you, can back, you can back into it using your launch budget and you can say, this is, you know, th this is the budget I have. So if I am, if I have a, a landed cost of $4 or a landed cost of $9 and a sales velocity of 400 versus a sales velocity of 800, our launch budget starts to get smaller, bigger, depending. And so your ranges go from 5,700 to 21 thousand and so that this whole thing um is i don't want to get into that but it's basically what's your inventory cost what's your ppc cost what's your marketing cost and that's how you get these budgets and then from there you can back into the kind of price range of the product that you're going to go and sell and you can plug that into helium 10 or viral launch another tactic is to say i only want to find products that gross minimum of five thousand a month or minimum of twenty five thousand a month Okay, so you can do it that way as well. But what it boils down to is when you start to find these products, and it doesn't, you know, it matters the category, right? Don't go into some riskier gated categories. But what it comes down to is, you know, what, so you've got your sales, you've got your, sale, your, your revenue per month, you've got your estimated units per month. We don't want to go into categories where every single person on the first page has 1,200, 1,500 reviews. There's a lot of folks that only want to do 100 reviews and lower, but I'm, not, I'm a big believer in these launching strategies that you can go up against a product that has 800 reviews if there are enough keywords, if there's enough search volume, and if there's enough sales distribution, right? Because it's not that hard to get 100 reviews, especially when you're using things like ManyChat, where the customers are talking with you one-on-one, -on -one and they feel like they have a they're talking to, there's a voice behind this brand and they're much more inclined to leave a review. And if they don't like the product, here's a, here's a little trick. If they don't like the product, they tend to not leave a negative review. They tell you over many chat, Hey dude, this thing came, one of the screws was loose. The Velcro is loose. Just want to give you a heads up. Wow. Thank you so much. We're going to send you out a replacement right away. Boom. You didn't get a review, right? So, um, so all these, all these basic parameters you need to go through, is it seasonal, is it not too, is it not too heavy? You know, we try to, for, for a lot of our students, we try to stay under the two or three pound mark. Um, obviously you stay away from household names. Is there room for improvement? So we'll cap our review, our review score at like 4.3 to see if we can make some room for improvement. 
And you go through this, you go through these motions and you get down to, uh, and even before you start looking at how much it's going to cost in sourcing, you look at the keyword opportunity, right? And this is where we're going to find out if there's an opportunity here to launch this product and quickly steal some sales from my competitors and come in and be the number two, number three, number four guy pretty quickly. All right. Um, and using, looking at the keyword opportunity, we then identify one, two, three, five keywords that we're going to go target. And that's what we plug into pixel five. Right. So let me just give you a quick example. Let's say we find an opportunity and there's a, there's a healthy amount of keywords. Healthy could be, 1,000 monthly searches to 10,000 monthly searches. And there's, a, there's enough keywords that the top 10 or 15 sellers are not all aware of. So how do you figure that out? Well, you use a tool like Helium 10 Cerebro where you can plug in, I've got three products here. Let's pretend this is a product that we just launched. We started launching two weeks ago. So we're in, we're in week two of our launch. Can you see that? It's a little small. Uh, I can see it on my screen. The zoom in probably won't hurt though. So the yellow column is us, right? Mm -hmm. You can see uh, this is our organic position. You can see we're starting to go and tackle some, some good keywords. We got 4,000 here for a weekly dry race board. We've got, we're number seven here. But we're still kind of babies in, in a lot of these keywords and our, our competitors. This guy's doing 900 sales a month. This guy's doing 2,000 sales a month, right? They're doing, okay. really, they're doing really nice, okay? And so you can export this from Cerebro and you can look at a couple of different things. The phrase, the exact search volume, the estimated, you know, sales velocity over an eight day period. This tends to be 20% higher than what it needs to be. Um, how many, and then you calculate how many of us are in the top 10 spots, 10, 15 spots that I can, so I can see what are the most relevant keywords to us. And then I can see how I'm doing compared to how my competitors doing. So right now, I have, right now I have this sorted by how many of us in the top 10 spots. I can sort this by search volume. And I can see that there's a monster keyword here, 34,000, that this guy's number one for. Guarantee that's where he's getting a bulk of the sales. Mm -hmm. he's, number four, he's number four for this one, 10,000. Okay? And I'm, one, I'm 138. So I start to put these pieces of the puzzle together. Hmm, I'm 88. I'm 138. I got a little bit of work to do here. Okay. So I start to identify these keywords. Now these are big keywords. I mean, you know, Helium's saying these are, this is a 480 giveaway. That's a yeah, lot. So it's a healthy one, right? Maybe I don't want to do that right off the bat because I don't have enough social proof. Maybe I don't have 10, 20 reviews quite yet. So even if I were to, let's pretend I have infinite capital. If I were to give away 500 units and get to the top, would I, would I stay there with four reviews? Maybe if my product is awesome and my price is awesome, maybe, but we don't know. So what I would probably do is start to look at, you know, more manageable keywords that are, uh, and I want to say that are extremely relevant to us. So I don't want to just, you know, if, let's pretend we're selling a daily calendar. Um, okay. Or a week calendar. Would I want to go after a whiteboard? Even though it's a big phrase, 122,000, what, what do you think is going to happen when I search for whiteboard on Amazon? You're going to get big whiteboards. You're going to get ones with, on wheels. You're going to get all kinds of stuff. And there's chances are they're not going to buy my product if I have a week. So just be cognizant of going after, you know, terms that are relevant to you. Okay. Yeah, so, so that's what I'm assuming the NR stands for, right? Not relevant on your list. That just means that I'm not ranked. Um, I not think it's ranked. anything better than the, the 305th position. I can be indexed okay. for it, but I'm not organically anywhere within the vicinity. So I, I'm 302. Mm -hmm. I think that's the, I think 305 is the biggest number. Or maybe it's 306. Okay. Got um, it. It's not that you're not relevant because if I'm selling a weekly calendar and it's a whiteboard, I'm certainly relevant, but that is a super broad keyword. I'm probably not going to drive a lot of conversions. For that. What I will mm -hmm. drive conversions for you know, is um, like going back to our, our relevancy, you know, weekly dry erase board. So I'm number one for that. That went after that. Um, and then I want to find some other good ones. And what I'm looking for are like three, four, five healthy keywords, one to 5,000 search 
where I can go and plug them into a URL rotator in Pixelfy and mm -hmm. drive some traffic as well as drive some exact PPC campaigns. So I'm teaching Amazon, you know, what I want to convert for using PPC. I want to get, I want to get my sponsored ad at the top of that page. Um, and I'm going to start converting for those keywords. So I would start picking out things. Um, let's see here, you know, magnetic weekly calendar for fridge, right? I'm 12, um, but my competitors are two or three. So they're probably, my, my, custom, the, my customer is probably going to buy them first. So I'd probably want to go after that keyword, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to keep finding a couple of these that I think are really, uh, really relevant to me, right? And so I would pick out three or four um, that I feel like I have the inventory, the inventory to support. Um, here's another one, dry waste weekly calendar. Right. When you say inventory to support, you mean inventory to do like the giveaways on, right? Giveaways, um, uh, discounts, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that, that, that kind of thing. Because you've got, to, you've got to invest in your marketing to get to the top of the page. And then Agreed. once you've got the social proof and once you've got the positioning, you will see the organic sales happen, right? So if I have to give away 40 units – or discount 40 units, or maybe I'm giving away 30 and I'm, I'm, I'm getting 10 people to add it to the cart because that's going to give you ranking as well. Now I'm going to be on the first page or top of the first page. Right now I'm 21. But if I'm on the top of the first page for this one, um, I'm probably going to get an additional six or eight sales per day from this keyword, right? So times five, now I'm an additional, you know, 25 or 30 sales per day. So now I'm looking at between 800 and 900 sales per month after giving away, let's say 200, 300. So if, yeah. you invest, if you invest that inventory, then you've got the long haul to capitalize on. If you got have it. a good listing, right? So I would pick some of these good keywords out and then I would go in um, and go into my Pixel Fi and create, um, and create some really nice tracking. Green URL 2.0 is working phenomenally for us. The URL rotator is working phenomenally for us. There are some really good URLs in here, um, and I want to play with all of them, but these, these work really well for us. And so, um, so that's kind of the, the high level system of how we're ranking. And just to kind of note, after you have successfully gotten to the top of the first page for some keywords, or maybe you're like in the middle of the first page, you can bi uh, bifurcate the audience to two different chatbot flows. One that's continuing doing the Supreme URL, right? So it's the mm -hmm. conversion is much higher because the customer is just clicking a button, takes them right to Amazon and, um, and they purchase, right? You could also do some search find by, which is just going to mimic a, um, a natural uh, shopping experience on Amazon and, you know, get people to go and tell them in the chatbot flow what keyword they want to go after. And basically they go after, they go after and they search for that keyword and then they buy your product. There's some people that are doing, hey, I want you to, in the very beginning stages, hey, I want you to go to Amazon. I want you to add, add my thing to the cart, add my product to the cart, and I want you to go to the number one seller, this guy, and add him to the cart as well. And then in 20 minutes, I want you to remove him, and I want you to buy my mm -hmm. – people are trying all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And, it's, and it, it kind of works, but like you might have a higher cost per message on Facebook because you get a lot of people that are like, I don't want to do that. Like That sounds like a lot of freaking work. Um, yeah. I highly, yeah. highly recommend in the beginning that you guys just keep it simple. Get used to like the whole mini chat flow. You know, I know Eric has a lot of like templates that he uses for like him and his students. Like just yeah. using those, starting with the basics and then tweaking and testing however you want um, yeah. is a really good way to do it. Uh, one thing I want to note is uh, like when it comes to experimentation, um, I like to just like create a task in Asana saying like, all right, this is going to be the experiment. This is, it's, it's kind of funny. It's kind of going back to like what we learned in like science and like high school and math. It's like, okay, well, I'm going to tweak it and do a search find buy for this, right? Um, and then we'll measure what the keyword rank results are within like the, in two weeks, right? Um, and that's how I usually keep track of my experiments when I'm running things. Uh. 100%. Yeah, 100%. You have to experiment. And there's so many... You can't have too many variables. Like some people are like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my title, I'm gonna change my image, and I'm gonna change my chat bubble. Do one thing at a time. One right? thing at a time, yeah. One thing at a time. Get the listing optimized, get the images real nice. 
Um, then set set these flows up and set pixel find your keywords, set pixel by up, and then um, and then you gotta then you gotta test your Facebook audiences because you, you gotta manage your, your cost per message because it takes money to run Facebook ads as well. So you gotta make sure that the audience is is uh, is interested in converting. Uh, in fact, a little a little trick that we do with our students is we, we pre-build an audience even before the product is up on Amazon. And we do that by basically raffling off like a bundle. We start to see who's going to engage with that bundle. And then we create um, custom audiences and look like audiences based on those people that we know are interested in our space. And then we've got 100, 200, 500 people ready to go that I can then run my ad to, or even if they're already in many chat, just announce them, hey guys, just got our product in, looking for some, some product for that tester. Love, love for you guys to get your hands on this product. Who wants this product? It could be for 100% off, it could be for 90% off, it could be up to you. Um, and you got to test, right? Because yeah. And then Eric, do you mind just like um, stop the sh screen share real quick? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, so I, just one thing I want to just reiterate. So I know Eric went over like a lot of different parts of, you know, just getting your product to Amazon launching. One thing I want to let you guys know who is watching the video is like, depending on what you guys comment in the video, uh, on the video below, right? If you guys want uh, me and Eric to dive in a little bit deeper on, you know, like, how his many chat flows look like let us know in the comments if we you want us to dive into more how he like chose his keywords right i thought that was really interesting how he uses his helium 10 cerebral and just really combines it to like say like okay these are the ones with like the gaps of like the competitors are not going really hard on and these are the ones that i can win overall in the long game right maybe i don't go for like the really top ones at first like eric was saying um because i just launched my product right so if you want us to dive into that topic we definitely dive into that topic more, right? Um, so there's keywords, the mini chat. I thought it was really cool how you had the decision tree of like what we were going through with other products. So if you want us to dive into that one, just let us know. But as a whole, like you guys are watching this video, it's up to you guys to really decide like what the next video is really gonna be like. Um, so Eric is a really smart guy and I would love to just do some more videos with him. So if you guys let us know what you guys wanna see, um, that will allow us to like figure out what videos we can create for you guys. How's that sound, Eric? For sure. Love this stuff. So count me in. Okay, cool. Sounds good. So we'll go ahead and wrap this video up. So we have some, uh, another video that we're going to shoot, um, anyways, uh, right after this video for you guys. But if you guys want us to dive into another, you know, topic or whatever, just let us know. Um, and also, you know, make sure you guys subscribe to, uh, the YouTube channel. Eric has his own YouTube channel. Um, do you kind of want to describe or share with us, Eric, where people can reach you and contact you and find more information about the stuff that you're working on? Yeah, for sure. So you can find me on Facebook. We've got a uh, Facebook group. Um, I've got the YouTube channel, which we'll link here. You can also go to aimsyengine.net and sign up to get some updates. We're always kind of putting out some content. And we're working with students on multiple levels. We've got some courses you can sign up for. We do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, but we're basically, you know, I made a lot of expensive mistakes in the beginning. Uh, I'm sure everyone here has. <laughs> and I love helping folks launch an online business, is Amazon business, um, and avoid some of the ex expensive pitfalls, right? So whether you're an existing seller that wants to scale or a new seller that wants to get started, you know, come on over and, and say hello. All right. Sounds good. So, um, all the links, you know, for you guys to follow Eric will be in, you know, uh, right below the video in the description. Um, and if you guys can't find it or you guys need something else, just let us know in the comments. But other than that, thanks for watching guys. Thanks guys.